Hi everybody, here we are back with a new video for dating the godly way. I was trying out a new recording program, but um, it was only for, I thought it was a free recording program, but it's only free the first 10 minutes of recording and then you have to register or subscribe uh, so I have to re literally restart my video uh, so a subscriber of mine reacted on my video big man Alaska and he said people don't date anymore these days at least not like I was used to in the 80s and 90s. Courtship is gone and hookup sites have taken over. Heck, even those who believe in marriage have a hard time understanding what marriage actually means. So I'm going to do my big screen to make a reaction on this video what he says about people do not date anymore i thought that was a really good point that he made because that's something i also want to discuss in this video series and you may say but nadine what does dating have to do with the carnivore lifestyle this video series also comes is also on my other youtube channel this is a second youtube channel that i created especially for the carnivore community so that we're all together in, on one place that's why i created this channel a moment And dating actually has also to do with your love life because food brings people together. Food is a way that we socialize and our social life that also has directly to do with our love life. Now, some of us the way that it affects your love life is that some people, a certain group of people that are against eating meat, are against eating animals, they call us sometimes names. And I am uh of the thought of the idea that that group of people are, are not a match for us if we would look for a partner uh it's gonna be difficult i think to make it work with that with a person like that because do you always ha want to explain yourself why you do the carnivore lifestyle? I mean, in a way you could to, to educate people about it. But when it comes to a relationship and you live together and you build a life together, if they do not agree with you, right? If they do not agree with your lifestyle and they don't respect your lifestyle and they want to push their lifestyle on you, then we are in a different situation. It can either go the way of they understand and they want to be educated about it or they're going to be against it 
and they're gonna push their beliefs onto you and it's always gonna be an argument and I am aware that they are vegan people who are becoming carnivores so it is possible that you get to know a person who is vegan and they take the paths off they want to be educated on it and they respect that you do it and they want to try it but then you have those people that don't want to on don't want to be educated on it and that are against it and that you're always arguing with them and it never works out so what does that carnivore have to do with being with dating right well a lot because if you get to know each other and, and are going to live together and maybe commit and marry you're you're at some point of the day you're gonna have to eat something right you're gonna have to eat something and foods doing groceries together you're gonna have to do groceries together so you maybe will argue about what's being bought in the store and what is not being bought in the store so yeah it does have to do it it it, it it does not have to do with dating on itself, but it affects it affects your love life more than you think. And you're gonna have conversations about it. And that is going to determine if you are a match or not, if you're compatible or not. Know what I'm saying? So yeah, the way that you eat does affect your love life and also what kind of partner you're going to have. And you want someone that is compatible. So I wanted to explain a bit why this series is also on my carnivore channel. So the, the thing about people that, that don't date anymore, that's a good point that he makes. And that is also something I wanted to discuss. Now, who are the people that don't date anymore? Because of course, there's still people who go on dates. Not everybody stays at home. But we are living in a modern dating culture. And the people that don't, don't feel like dating anymore are the people who are looking for something serious. They want a serious, committed relationship. They don't, they don't want to casually date. They don't want to be a hookup. They do not want to be a third party. They do not want to be a side chick. They do not want to be used. Um, those are the people that do not date anymore because they know what it's like to date, to go on dates or what people are looking for and it's nothing to brag about it's of course there are still people who are able to seriously date but that's rare that's rare and i used to go out a lot in the 80s and 90s and not in the 80s, but more like in the 2000s after high school. So I finished high school in 1999. And then in the 2000s, when I first time lived on my own, I started to go 
out being social, right? Uh, getting to know people. And in that time, we still had traditional dating. And the internet didn't exist yet. There was no internet, there were no smartphones. I know, it, it, some of you of the more modern times, you cannot imagine what that must have been like. No internet, no smartphones, no apps. We literally, we literally had to go out in public to, to, talk, to talk to people. You literally had to go out to talk to people. If you wanted to send a message, you had to write a message on paper and send it by post or a land phone, you, you would use a land phone. So, or you had to travel, take the car, take the bus, take the train to go and see someone. We did not have live streams. We did not have the internet. We did not have these smartphones, these, these, we did not have that. Uh, it was literally the old fashioned way. So that was that. And it seems like ages ago when you think about it, how long we already have the internet and these smartphones, but how fast technology has moved forward. Um, but, it, but it's because of these smartphones, it's because of the internet that it has started to, to push people in a direction of if people have so much choice, what are my chances? That's the way that people also think if there is so much variety that a person can choose from, how big are my chances? Is it worth it to go out and date? Is it worth it? And then you see stuff like people hooking up, people casually dating, women being a side chick, women being, you know. Uh, I think that stuff has always existed, but now with the internet and, and dating apps and stuff, it has become more public that, that because I always think that people have, have cheated. Uh, I think people have always hooked up with each other. I think women have always been someone's side chick or, you know, a casual date. Only the difference now is that people are openly talking about it. Uh, people are making it public that they and they are proud to be someone's side chick like they're proud of it that they can date so many men a year uh, and that makes also people feel like mm, that's not really what i want to sign up for like, I am really looking for something serious. That's not how I want to go about it. That's not how I want to behave, you know? So people see that stuff and they, they pull back, they pull their energy back from the dating, the dating scene. 
because they feel they see that stuff and they think it is not safe it is not safe for me to put myself out there this is how people behave and I am gonna get hurt uh, I am gonna be hurt by someone so people have that right to feel that way you know uh, you cannot force yourself to feel something that you don't want to so the most people that are on the dating scene those are the ones that do not have a problem with that they don't mind being treated as a third party they don't mind being treated as a hookup they don't mind being treated as a casual thing uh, but what results is it giving, him, giving them that? Being in a situationship that can only last for how long it lasts and then it's over and then they're on to the next person. But you cannot spend your life like that years and years on every person needs a solid foundation whether that is on your own or together with someone so that's why people do not date anymore and the people that don't date anymore are the ones who want something serious and committed and they see that and no that's not what we're signing up for no I'm gonna pull my energy back. I'm gonna stay out of that modern dating culture and I'm gonna focus on me. I am going to do me. And if I am meant to be in a relationship, it will happen. And oftentimes, when you focus on yourself, and you're focused on your own life and you're not looking that's when it happens that's when you attract a better partner into your life the 80s and 90s i was still in high school so the the girls in my class, they were dating guys. I was just focused on getting my diploma. Uh, I was not like them. I would go to school and when school was over, I was on my bike on my way home, making my homework, you know. I, I was not interested in dating guys at that time. Uh, I just wanted to get my diploma and I wanted to, to live on my own and start working. That was my goal. Um, so I cannot speak on dating during the 80s or the 90s. Um, then what was that other comments? Courtship is gone and hookup sites have taken over. So that is a traditional dating versus modern dating. So courtship is a traditional dating and hookup culture is a modern dating culture. And that is the two world, two different worlds of dating. And this morning, I talked about that on my Twitter. And you have to decide for yourself which path you take for your love life. The modern dating culture or traditional dating culture. 
And I agree, courtship is gone. I, I agree on that. I still recording? Yeah. I agree on that. I think courtship should come back. We should get back to traditional gender roles. And I know a lot of people have a problem with that when I when we talk about gender roles. Yeah, that is so old fashioned and we live in the modern times. You have to move with your time. Yeah, I know we're in the modern, we're in the 21st century. And I said in my first video, just because we live in the 21st century doesn't mean that we have to lose our common sense. That we have to act dumb. And that we should be glad with accepting whatever. Because that's a, a recipe for ruining your life. So I disagree. The only positive thing that I can say about modern dating culture, the only positive thing that I can say about that is, is that modern dating culture shows us how much we have fucked up. That's the only positive that I can say about that. It just shows us how much we have fucked up. Uh, and how much we need to change. Because it's not about being old fashioned. It's about knowing what works and what doesn't work. And traditional dating works. It does. It works. Because from the moment that we wanted to start doing it differently, it messed everything up. Big time. Uh, courtship was done by men. But the men that we have now today, most, I'm not saying all of them, but most of the men today in modern dating culture, which is also called hookup culture, it's part of that, uh, they are in their feminine energy. And I'm not talking about a particular group, I mean with that, they stop being in their masculine role and they expect women to chase. They want women to chase them. They want women to add, to text them first. They want women to ask them on a date first. They want women to plan the date. They want 50-50 dates split in a bill. Uh, they want women, you know, to be the man in the, play the man in the relationship. And they want to be in their feminine. They want it easy. They don't want to do any effort. They want the woman to do all the effort. Because then they claim to know for sure that that woman is interested in them. So they're making the woman the leader in the relationship. Now, I, 
I do not agree with that. I don't. I think that that uh, uh, switching the roles is not a good idea. And also, when you talk about courtship, they also say that yeah, but then a man is simping, simping to a woman. If you buy her flowers, you're simping. Uh, if you open the door for her, you're simping. Uh, if you text her first, you're simping. I think that's a lame excuse to not do what you should do as a man. I think you say that and do that not my subscriber but this is what modern dating culture claims this is what the men in modern dating culture claim about courtship that if you are courting a woman you are simping i think men use that as a as an excuse to be lazy i don't think that they really mean that I don't think they really believe that because a man simping to a woman means being a woman her doormat. That is what a simp is. Being a woman her doormat, that is what it actually means in short. And asking a woman on a date is an not really be in her doormat. Uh, paying the bill on a date as a man is not be in her doormat. Uh, texting her first is not be in her doormat. So, guys, like, don't, don't try to discern what people say, you know? Uh, that is courtship. That's part of romance. You know, the, romance doesn't exist these days anymore. Uh, why does courtship and, and romantic gestures exist? It gives a man the chance to show a woman I like you. I want to date you. I want to. I want to get to know you and and see if we are compatible. I want you to have a good time. Uh, I want to make you happy. I want to show you that I'm responsible. That I can take care of you. That I am husband material. So that's why courtship and romantic gestures exist. So if there are people who are against courtship, they are against marriage, against taking care, being able to take care of a woman, against paying a bill. So if you are dating and you're getting to know someone and they are against romantic gestures, they are against courtship, well, then you already know what, what kind of person you're dealing with. So that's why courtship and romantic gestures exist. And I know I'm already going to get hate for this. There are going to be people who are now seriously triggered by what I say. I'm aware of that, but... You know, I have to educate people on it because... Yeah, I do not agree with everything that is being said in dating culture. Uh, you know, we have to... Not give things a new definition, 
we have to tell people what the original definition is of things. So, what was the uh, the rest of the the comments? Hookup sites have taken over. About the hookup sites. I think he means Tinder. I think Tinder is a huge hookup site. So I think every app starts with good intention. But then people turn it into something negative. So yeah uh people uh, seem to have the tendency to turn a good thing into a negative thing um there are also people who believe that instagram is a dating site i do not agree with that instagram is more for people to get to know you and what your life is about and uh, collaborating with other people that's what Instagram is for but e people even use that as a way to date well Instagram is not a dating site at all now if Instagram would add a feature that you could show that you want to you want to date someone that would be different but they don't have that option they don't have that feature on their site so i would not call instagram uh, a dating site but i know that people use it to date to dm people but that happens on twitter too that happens on facebook too that happens on YouTube too. It happens everywhere. So, but I think he's talking about Tinder because that's the biggest hookup site ever. And I would not recommend to be on Tinder. It's not to ruin their company name or something, but it's one of the worst. You're not going to find a serious partner on Tinder. You're not. Um, the best way that you will attract a partner in your life is if you're not looking for one. That is when you're going to attract a person into your life when you're not looking and even then you still have to you know be careful who you let in your life because a lot of people are needy uh, a lot of people are desperate and a lot of people have an agenda they want something from you and yeah when they then find out that you are a serious person you're gonna have a lot of people who are gonna be interested in you oh this person is rare because they do not play games they want something serious so you're gonna attract a lot of people that are more not serious and are serious because the serious people are not looking they are focused on themselves like you heck even those who believe in marriage have a hard time understanding what marriage actually means a lot of people don't believe in marriage anymore because of hookup culture, the way that dating culture is today. That's the reason why people do not want to commit anymore. 
That's the reason why people do not want to marry anymore. They want the house, they want the children, but they don't want to marry. Make it make sense, right? Make it make sense. They want the house, they want the wife, they want the husband, but I do not want to marry. That's actually funny, man. That's actually funny. I want this, I want that, but I do not want to marry. I'm going to say if, and people say that, I can have the house and the children without being married. But the thing is, if you have children with someone, they need a legal parent, they need a legal father. And you are then the biological father, the biological mother, but if you are a couple that is not legally married to each other, it's going to be work in the disadvantage of the children legally. Because if, if children, their parents are not married, they have different rights than children who their parents are married they ha it's in their disadvantage if their parents are not married and it's more in their advantage when their parents are legally married uh, i know that a lot of people do not want to involve the governments in their love life i respect that I understand the reasons why, but if you have children, that is in their disadvantage. They're going to have different rights than children who their parents are legally married. And it's also going to affect their life, their rights, when they become an adult, when they become mature when the parents are married so you have to keep in mind also long term what the consequences can be of that if you refuse to marry like being married has advantages for your children like something can happen unexpected and let's say that it requires that you guys are married so that you can help your child legally but you're not married so there's a situation that it requires you two to be legally married and because you're not you cannot help your child that would be a disaster and also, if you would be legally married, you're also going to earn more income. You're going to have more income. You're, you yourself are going to have more rights. So yeah, involving the government has disadvantages when you marry. But what are the disadvantages that they talk about? is that if a man marries he has a lot to lose if the woman wants to divorce they could take my house they could take my car 
They, they could take my money. They could take my children. Uh, I understand that. And I, I understand that men have a huge fear of that. And a lot of men have been in bad situations, really bad situations when it comes to divorce. And their fear is legit. Their fear is legit. They have. That's why a lot of men are not waiting to get married. And I understand that completely. But what you also have to understand is not every woman is going to do that to you. You cannot put in your mind, okay, every time I'm going to meet a woman, every time I'm going to commit to a woman and I would marry her, she's going to take everything away from me. That is a mindset, that, that is something that you do to yourself. So I'm talking in general now to uh, what legit fears men have around marriage. But it's also same for women. What fears do women have? Women fear that a man is going to cheat. Women fear that a man is going to leave them for a younger woman. Men fear that one day, women fear that one day they're going to be too old and their, and their husband is going to lose attraction for them and, and that they're going to cheat with another woman and that they're going to be replaced by a younger woman. So women have as much fears in marriage as men have fears in marriage. So we're a bit of, both genders are a bit in the same boat. Because women also have a lot to lose if the man wants to divorce. If it's his house, she's going to be on the street. If uh, he asks for a prenup or something else of paperwork uh, that describes what is his, what is hers, uh, yeah, so we're both equal, both genders are equal when it comes to fears about marriage. But just because you had one bad experience doesn't mean that every time you get to know someone, history is going to repeat. And also, what I also said, a relationship is supposed to make it your life easier for you. And the problem that we have today is that people do not take their time anymore to get to know a person. And that's mainly because of social media. They see people, they compare their love life with other people, their love life. And they think, oh, now this person is, is in a relationship I need to be in a relationship. And they take the first person that comes along. And no matter what the situation is, serious or not, they make themselves believe that that is their partner, their boyfriend or girlfriend. Just so they can show, okay, I am also going on dates. It's more superficial now than it actually means something. Because people now also have this huge fear of being alone because they see everybody on social media married, dating, going on trips, getting engaged, being proposed, 
getting married, having children. Don't compare your love life with other people because you do not know why those people are together. You do not know what they have done. You don't know their situation, why they are together, or what kind of relationship that they have, what kind of connection that they have. You do not have to compete with anybody. You are responsible for yourself and your life. You have to take responsibility for you and your life. You are accountable for yourself and your life. So, if you want your love life to be a success, that's the first thing you should not do. Compare your love life with others. What are you doing? What, are you, what actions do you take? What are you choosing to do? That's what you should look at. Because you can be your own worst enemy. And when you think marriage, I don't want to do, I'm never getting married, I am not doing that. You're being your own worst enemy. Uh, you're not helping yourself. You're not helping yourself making it better. The only thing that you do is making your fear grow. You're making your fear grow. You're making your fear bigger than it needs to be. It should shrink, but it's growing. So... People, their fear is growing for marriage. It's not, it's, it becomes so big that they can't see past it anymore. Like, oh my God, what if he replaces me with a younger woman? Oh my God, what if, if she wants to divorce and I lose everything then? And then people start to settle. Instead of, Talking about it, instead of working it out, they start to settle. And they think like, yeah, what's the point of having a conversation? What's the point of this? Um, yeah, that's not helping either. You should be able to talk with your partner about everything. Literally about everything. And you should be able to work out everything with your partner. But just because someone ha you had a bad experience doesn't mean the next person that comes into your life is going to be a bad experience too. Now you know what not to do. Now you know what to do. So from every relationship you learn, and every relationship should make you wiser so that you don't repeat what happens in the past. And of course, it's always a risk. It's always taking a risk with someone. But if you don't take the risk, then you also don't know what could have been. So it's about taking chances and, you know, making the best of it. And that's all you could do, do your best. But you know what to look, watch out for. You know what to do and you know what not to do. And also, people don't take their time anymore to get to know someone. Everything has to happen fast. There are people who are living together after one date. 
That's crazy. You have people marrying, marrying each other after a few dates. That's crazy to me. You are literally moving in with a stranger. What could you possibly know about a person after one date? What could you possibly know about a person after one week dating? What could you possibly know? You should know that everyone in the beginning wants to make a good impression. Everybody wants to make a good impression in, in the beginning. Because you, you don't want to lose that person. Because you don't want them to go for someone else. So everybody does their best of selling themselves. But that's not their true self yet. You know what their true self is? When you've been long enough together and at least a year, give it at least a year time. But people do not want to do that anymore. No. Now it's after a week. Now it's after a few dates. Now it's after a month. Now it's after a few months. Now they get married after three months knowing someone. How do you marry someone after three months? I cannot imagine that. You know what my mom would say to me? If I did that, Nadine, have you gone crazy? Have you gone crazy? You're going to marry a stranger? What do you know about this person? What do you know about him? My, my family would call me insane if I did that after three months. It's not logical. And this is a weird thing of all. People are not for marriage anymore, but they would marry someone after a short period of time. Explain that. Explain that. I cannot, I do not understand that. I do not relate to that. I don't. It's weird, weird how people are. They are one time, they are not for something and then they do the opposite. And they do it then in such a way that they, they're being impulsive with their love life and those relationships those, those, those couples that do that after such a short time, it's not going to last. And they are like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, we will show people that it's going to last. And then I already know when people talk like that, oh yeah, it, you're, you're doomed to fail. <laughs> It's going to be as fast over as it has begun. Of course, they want to, going to want to prove that it's going to last, but we all know better, right? Uh, that's also a reason why people do not believe in marriage anymore. And then you have those people who, who see marriage as a business or a date as a job interview. Uh, they do it for superficial reasons. What can they gain out of it for themselves? Like it's very selfish. And marriage is not about self-gain. 
marriage is not about what's in it for me. Uh, marriage is not about what can that person do for me. Marriage is teamwork. Teamwork. Teamwork, support, clear communication, trust, true love, compassion, sympathy, empathy, speaking truth, no secrets. Yeah, I already named 10 things. You guys should write that down, what I just named up. Write those 10 things down that I said, what marriage is about. So, and when you would say those things to, to those kind of people, they would be like, they would not know what to say. They would, it would be like they fall out of the sky. Because for them, marriage is something superficial. Uh, uh, they are with that person for an agenda. They want to be with that person for self-gain. They use their partner as a stepping stone. To, to, and, and they use the marriage, the, the connection, to show people, oh, look how how uh, a marriage we have and i'm talking about those women that are gold diggers right who are into what's it called uh hypergamy right women that are into hypergamy but you have men that are also into hypergamy hypergamy uh, they are them they choose them a partner as a step up they use a man as a step up for themselves and then they play this perfect girlfriend and they play this perfect wife to show other men oh look how how great I am as a girlfriend. Look how great I am as a wife. Because they, they use it to sell themselves to other men. So that they can date other men behind their, their, their person's back to leave that man for another man. So that's what's going on too in dating culture. Uh, that is also that's the superficial side of marriage that are for certain couples uh, and as and I said as long as they are popular on social media everything is fine but as soon as they're not popular anymore as soon as the followers stop as soon as there are no more likes, you know, then they're gonna move on to another person. That's what these people do. If people are in it for a superficial reason, you're gonna notice that. You're gonna notice that, that on the way that they live. You're gonna notice that the way that they talk about each other. And when you hear couples talking about why they are together, it's mostly about superficial things. But you don't hear them talk about the real stuff. You know, the real reasons, like the, the, how, what they like about each other, what they feel for each other. 
uh, qualities. You don't hear them talk about qualities. What do they talk about? Their physical appearance, the job that they do, uh, how many followers that they have, uh, how popular they are, their friends, uh, how they dress. They only talk about the superficial things, but not they don't talk. They don't mention the things that really matter. That should be the foundation of their relationship. They make the superficial things the foundation of their relationship. So people who make the superficial things the base of the foundation of their relationship, that is not going to last. Those are the relationships that do not last. Because as long as they are popular, as long as their career goes okay, everything's fine. But as soon as that can ch changes, oh, now we have to, now we have to cheat. Now we have to go and choose someone else because we're not popular anymore. We don't get engagement anymore on social media. So I'm going to have to look for someone else. And they're only together. Those couples are only together because they think if I'm with that person, I'm going to get a lot of engagement on social media. And that's the only reason why those couples exist. And it has nothing to do with being in love because that doesn't matter to them. It don't matter to them if that person is really in love with them or not, as long as they have that person. These couples don't even know what true love is or what it means. So that answers that comment of uh, Big Man Alaska. And I said then that I was going to make a reaction video and he says, YouTube is a strange place to work and share. It takes some very specific things to happen in order to get seen. I don't focus on that so much and focus more on creating better videos in time. The easier to digest content tends to last years instead of a quick day of use. But yeah, he does appreciate that I am going to make a reaction video for him because he made some valid points he made valid points and I thought yeah if I have to comment everything that I've been saying here is gonna be like this and, and I don't want a, a person to have to read all that and if I make a video on it then I can make new content again for you guys so i hope you found it interesting and i'll see you guys in the next one bye